Hello everybody, welcome back to the Pixel Shadow Extreme Survival Server. And as promised in the last video, going to work on... Oh, there's a furnace here. Going to work on these pipes. Oh man, this diamond pickaxe is just too... Whoa, it's just too fast. That's new. Newer, at least. I don't remember it. Um, it's probably been there for forever now, and I just didn't notice it. Or let me rephrase that. It's been there forever now, but I haven't played on the server in like a month, I think. So yeah, uh, by the time this video goes live, like I'm recording this, uh, last day of April. This won't be going live till I think second week in June. So, this new uh, unified inventory thing up here, which I don't even know what this does. All the rotate what? So many weird things. Let's try something. Let's uh. Okay, so we have some stairs or something. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Wait, why doesn't it spread them out? Is it because there's not nine in there? Let's try it now. Ah, ha, ha. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. And you can... Wow. That is very new. I. Then I'm assuming if we hit all, it would take everything we're crafting and just throw it right into our inventory. Is there, but there's not a button to clear it. Though I guess you could just hit that and then shift click it out. That's pretty cool. My little character picture disappeared from here. Why would they do that? Huh. Okay, well, enough about that. Let's figure out this pipe stuff. Um. I can't tell what's. Food goes in the center, ores are going here. Ores go there, get processed by the grinder. Grinder filters out golden coal dust and puts them to here. Everything else gets cooked, goes to here. Okay, so ores looks good. That all works. This pipe sticking in my face does not work. That's for food. That's chaos. And then what's this? This is like just random stuff then? Junk. <laughs> Junk. Oh boy. So that's pretty much everything else. If it's not food or an ore, it goes in there. And then it gets separated out at this point. But I'm thinking I probably need a little more sorting ability. Uh this is difficult though. How do I make this work? What if I put sorting tube there, cut that out, and then no, see that? That probably doesn't work. I need to like run a line and have sorters that are pulling things out and then sorting further. Now I have all of this real estate here that I can run stuff through. So let's actually figure that out. Let's let's make this my wall of storage. And then uh, this will actually loop around from the other side. Which this is just crafting those storing them into here feeding them into there to keep that full so this should be well that's weird I've got all this oil extract why is it not doing anything very interesting well Let's do this in here. I 
I don't know. Nope. See, I thought there was... Oh, boy. I thought there was some weird way where this would work with groups, but maybe not. Alright, well, either way, let's let's get this figured out. Okay, so food is weird because of that and going to here. Now, the food has to run this way because that's the direction machines process it. What if I switch the food in the ores? That would actually make sense because then food's running right here and ores are going here and they just run this way and then loop around. That's what we're going to do. So uh, we'll have to knock out a light or two, but there's so many lights that doesn't matter. Okay. Get rid of, whoops. Um... Yeah, that works. Okay, so this all goes bye-bye. Uh, nope, just want that one. Okay, and then I guess I can put these tiles back in up there. No, that's all I have on me. Though. Oh, wait. I can build a few. This Wait, is that a 4x4? Four four? Yes, it is. Okay, so let's try out this new little... Dude, that's nifty. That almost makes me think I need to do a new mod review on Unified Inventory just to cover that feature. I won't, though, because that would be going overboard. Put a light there because I can get one now. And a light here because I can put one there. Alright, so it doesn't even matter because I just put lights in different areas. Okay, so that's not ore, so those signs have to change. And then food just runs right down. Okay. Simple enough. Let's get these signs changed around here real ah! How in the world did that beast get into my house? And I don't have any food on me. Well... go eliminate the threat with an e-lock <laughs> yes I will take that me shark thank you very much okay so this should be ores and I think I need to put another line in okay and then this bottom one here should say food and the top one Ores. Beautiful. And that probably actually works better anyway, because I'll probably have more ores than I will food. So, yeah. Beautiful. So that's set up. Now, these are all full of junk, though. <laughs> yeah, they sure are. A lot of junk. Okay, I do have one small problem with having stairs here. How do I run this? I'm thinking. Uh, run it across. Turn the corner. Because that only makes sense. And then run it along the edge of the stairs because I'll be able to walk down my stairs still and then go that way now I may want to take it down first let's see here if I have a sorting tube I can sort down but that's really it because then if I put another one here, and down, I could put one sticking off the front, but that kind of really doesn't do me a lot of good, does it? 
No, so I'd pretty much be using one sorting tube. Per chest, and that gives me one, two, three, four, five, six items. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. And then eventually leaves end up here. So let's go ahead and take this stuff out and run that over. So leaves will end up going into that. I wonder if I have a chest. I don't know why my dirt's in that configuration. That's kind of weird, but what ifs? And just throw the stuff all in there. I don't know if that was enough cleared, maybe. Maybe not. It was, alright. Okie dokie. Now, if I put a chest right there. And I put a pneumatic. And then I could put another chest on top and just whatever the blue is would go into that chest. But that's going to use a lot of pneumatic tubes. So I'm essentially using one for every item. Which I feel is dumb. Now I could put another chest here and have two. Or wait put a chest here and have three. But that still really wouldn't work. <laughs> it works for the white and the blue, but the black needs to just be left open because that needs to be everything that's not being filtered out. And then, I guess I could put a tube there. No, can't do that because that'll connect back to that. This is so confusing. I have a setup on uh, the survival. Not the extreme survival, but just the plain old vanilla survival. With all sorts of sorting and stuff and... Took forever to figure that out. Like, forever. But, uh, I guess we're gonna have to refigure out how that all works. So let's make another chest here. And I should probably make these locked right off. Just because always I have to dig them all up to make them locked later. And that's just silliness. Because even though this is protected, people can glitch in. And then if they can just grab all my stuff, that's not cool. Okay, so I can do this and this. And that works. Oh, wait! I think I can make this a little more efficient. Only a little. Oh, wait. No, because that's going to connect to that. And that's going to connect to... Oh, it just connects to everything. That makes it so inefficient. I can go out there. But then I still can't put another chest till there. And this I can... No, I can't do that because... And if I do that, then it connects to that. So pretty much, pretty much I'm screwed <laughs> and I can't do anything efficiently here. Ah, <sighs> well, wait, there is one thing I can. Can I? Yeah. Okay. Let's try this. If I put a sorting tube there, I can put a chest up 
above it. Okay, I can put a chest there. And a sorting tube there. Get rid of that. Alright. And then... Another sorting tube there, a chest there, and then a chest below it. And... Just for simplicity's sake, we'll do that. Now, unfortunately, there's no way to rename these chests. And I can't rename iron. I have to upgrade pretty high to be able to name chests. So then there's, well, how do you keep track of what's in them? Which beats me. I don't know. There is always the option of putting a block below and a sign on it. Which I know I had signs here somewhere. So I could put a sign there. I don't know. Oh. I did not know it did that. I can hang a sign from the ceiling. And I can still access the chest behind it. So I guess that's what we're going to do for the sorting here. So normal tube, sorting tube, normal tube. And you know what? I may as well, just to make it look good, do that. And then we'll assume by this point we have well, sorted out everything we want. And yeah, we'll be in business. So let's, let's start this system up. But first, I need some more chests. Oh, wait. I can just do this. I love that. That is the best thing ever. And let me just hit all. And it... I love it. Those are some neat changes. All right. And all right. So, for starters... Um, I'm going to have a chest that's just dirt so yellow gets dirt and I'm gonna have a chest that's just cobble so the green here should take cobble and then let's grab all my cobble and dirt that I can and run upstairs and try this out okay so that goes to the junk and actually, junk's probably the one that should have been uh, in the center, but whatever. You know, I should do a stack-wise for the junk. Because I won't be processing anything that's junk. Everything in junk is going to be stacks. Do I have a stack-wise injector? I don't know. I'm gonna find out, though. Stack-wise? Stack-wise? Doesn't look like it. Mm, no. Let's see here. Well, I did not want that. How do we build a stack-wise? Mies block, plastic sheets, raw iron, and a stick. Well, I have the raw iron. I have plastic sheets. Do I have a Mies block? I don't, but I can make one. I think I just need nine of these. Yep. Uh, I wish there was a way just to send everything back, but that works too. Okay. Um, and a stick, right? One would think... I would have a stick someplace, right? Oh, dude, I should have looked in these bags first. If I have a... Oh, I don't. It's like, if I have a stack-wise injector in one of these bags, I'm going to be mad. 
This is neat though. It tells you how many slots and how much open space is available. That's neat. Okay, well I just need a stick. So I'm going to get a stick real quick here. Boom. Uh, nope. I just want to make one. Oh, I get two. Sweet. Okay, now. Um, I guess we break that. And break that. And that's not pointing the right direction. I thought I'd just seen a screwdriver. Here it is. Let's make that go the right way. You know, it can't be too hard. There we go. It yipes. Let's uh, put that. I don't even know why that sent something through because there was no plant to be triggering. That's weird. Okay, sequence slots by party. Exact match off. Exact match on. I don't know what that means. But either way, let's see what happens. Perfect. Okay, so it's doing a whole stack. It sends them over. 99 cobble. And soon to be 99 more dirt. Beautiful. Okay. So then, uh. Ah, here sticks were. Oh well. We kind of just need to figure out what our other things are gonna be. And make signs. I don't remember. Is a sign this? With a stick. Whoa! Alligator! Whoa, wait, what? How did he get in here? Oh, wait, there's hit boxes. Um. Okay, I'm not sure what just happened. Yeah, this chest is empty. Definitely not empty. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. A lot of leg or something? Let's try searching for a sign. I'm assuming the server is hanging. Another way to try, use the elevator. Nothing, absolutely nothing. I guess this thing's working, but I just never see anything happening. That's honestly probably more than enough, more than I'll ever use. All right, well, whoops. I think we'll just end it here because uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to really want to work right now. I'm assuming it's going to crash in a short while. <laughs> so, that is uh, this episode. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'm sure there are better ways of sorting stuff. Actually, you know what I could have done? I could put a chest coming off the front of the pneumatic tubes there and get three chests per. And I could even, well, no, I really couldn't. That middle one would just have to stick out. Because if I tried to make them stick out from the front, I think they would end up connecting. That's something I can play with in the next episode. It might be able to be a little more efficient, which I would like. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.